12.3 million people are at an increased risk of type 2 diabetes in the UK. Making the right choices can stop the development of this condition. Hey, do you remember these biscuits you bought yesterday? You should probably eat one before they all finish. You've had a long day, you deserve it. One biscuit won't do anything. No, what are you doing? Don't you remember what the pharmacist told you yesterday? You know your BMI is borderline obese, putting you at a greater risk of developing type 2 diabetes. So we really need to correct your eating habits and we can do this by having five, fruit, five portions of fruits and veg per day having high fiber carbs and less processed meats as well as cutting down things like sugar and salt um, if you do really crave sugar you can have things like fruits which contain natural sugar it's a lot more of a healthy system. nearly 85 percent of those with type 2 diabetes are overweight or obese losing up to 10 percent of body weight can improve health significantly pre-diabetics who lose this weight can decrease their risk of diabetes by 58 percent Are you really going to watch another episode? You've been here for three hours already. It's just one more episode of the next season. Carry on watching. It's just 40 minutes. You can go for a walk tomorrow. A lack of physical activity can put you at a greater risk of developing type 2 diabetes. The NHS states that adults should be doing well 150 minutes of moderate to vigorous activity per week. Really, you can start off by making small changes like going out for a walk or a jog, you know, taking the longer route home, getting off at an earlier bus stop. Just set yourself small achievable daily targets that you can meet. And it's only normal for you to find it hard to, you know, really start off and get into physical activity. But that's that's fine, that's completely normal. Physical inactivity alone accounts for 7% of the type 2 diabetes cases in Europe. Exercise will help utilize the insulin in the body, lowering insulin resistance and subsequently decreasing the risk of type 2 diabetes. Another one? You said you were going to start drinking responsibly last week. Still drinking. Carry on. You don't have work tomorrow anyway. Mention that you drink 16 units of alcohol per week. Comparing it to the recommended, which is 14 units spread over the week, um, it would be best to try and curb this habit. One of the reasons is that alcohol contains a lot of calories and that'll just not contribute to you losing weight or just lead to weight gain. Another one is that alcohol can also lead to increase in blood sugar levels, which isn't the best thing for a pre diabetic. People who drink 6 to 8 units of alcohol a day have a greater risk of type 2 diabetes. Drinking 12 units in a week lowers the risk, with a 40% decrease in women and 13% decrease in men. You already know how much damage smoking can cause. You're really stressed out. Just have a cigarette. It's going to help you relax. So you mentioned that you occasionally smoke. Smoking is associated with quite a few risks, one of them being that smoking causes insulin in your body to start working efficiently, this then leads to type 2 diabetes. Together with type 2 diabetes and smoking, it leads to other complications like coronary heart disease and stroke, so it's really important that you try and stop. Smokers are 40% more likely to develop type 2 diabetes than non-smokers. But so what if I don't want to make any lifestyle changes? Well, I'm going to be very honest. As you're aware, you have many risk factors. You know, the chances of a condition moving towards diabetes are extremely high. I understand. If changes aren't made, um, you know, you would be on lifelong medication to control your blood glucose levels. And with the lifetime habits you have described me, other complications, like I mentioned previously, are quite likely. In the worst case scenario, if your blood sugar levels are still uncontrolled, then complications like um, loss of sight, kidney failure, and even amputation can occur. But at the end of the day, only you can make these changes. You still have a chance to, you know, prevent this from happening. Um, there's always support for you, and we are always here to help you. Just remember that.
Patients with diabetes are 2.5 times more likely to have a heart attack or a heart failure. The chances of a stroke occurring also doubles. More than 25% of patients with type 2 diabetes will have some form of diabetic retinopathy. Kidney transplants and dialysis is five times more likely in patients with diabetes. In 2018, 8,793 amputees occurred due to diabetes. Why wait for diabetes when we can prevent it? Together, we can beat diabetes.